Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about my pre-loved handbag collection. I love buying pre-loved, especially when it comes to vintage pieces, bags that are like limited edition that you cannot find anymore. And I have been shopping pre-loved for years. So I do have like a small collection that I wanted to show you where I got it, the condition, and basically give any tips for anyone that has been looking where to buy safely pre-loved, any tips that I can give you about authentication, and also the reasons why I wanted to go for pre-loved for certain bags rather than going new from stores. So I think there's two terms that we tend to use and one of them is the resale market and the other one is the pre-loved market. The pre-loved market is when you buy something that has been used before by someone else. It doesn't necessarily have to be something that is cheaper than from store. Depends on the item, of course. Many of these were definitely way cheaper than buying them from store, but some others were actually not. And then the resale market is when you go through another source to buy things that are sold out, but you're buying them brand new, basically. I have done both, but I wanted to focus only on the pre-loved pieces, which means that they were used for a while before I bought them and not the ones that were basically completely new but I could not find them myself in store. An example of this could be my green classic flop that I got from Relux. It was brand new, box everything untouched and the reason why I went for the resale market is because I could definitely not find it myself at my store or at any boutique that I would visit but Ritalux had it available. So I have some pieces that are on the newer side and then I have other pieces that are over 20 years old. So I want to start by brands. This is my first lady gel that I ever got and this one was definitely used and pre-loved. I got this one from Season to Consign and this is the mini lady gel in the ultra matte in white. As you can see, the hardware on the back is also white and not gold like it usually is. And it did come with its scratches and stains, which is normal. I don't think that you're gonna be able to tell because of the light, but it has a little stain right here on the handles. It was a little bit also stained, which is normal. Especially for a white bag, if you go pre-loved, you can expect a little bit of staining and wear and tear. And I honestly didn't care because I was definitely said that I wanted the mini. When it comes to Dior, my best recommendation is if the brand doesn't retain its value, there's only a few brands that do like Chanel, Hermes, or very limited edition pieces but sadly the Lady Dior does not retain its value so the moment that you buy one from store and you walk out you're gonna lose a little bit of money if you ever want to sell it. For me this was the best way to go. I love it so much and I'm really happy that I saved that money. I am not someone that is like that picky that if something has one stain or one little scratch I will not like it so this is the first one. This one is definitely more recent and this is my vintage Lady Dior. This one is well over 20 years old. I got this one from Bam Luxury Store who are actually looking here in Barcelona and I know the owner so I saw it I fell in love with it and I got it. She does ship international too, in case anyone is interested. And this is a Black Lady Dior in the medium. I got this one instead of the ABC. I think this size is great for me because this one can actually fit my camera, the Kindle, water, my agenda if I need to. So this was the most useful size for me. This one was amazing. I saved a ton of money. I really love the vintage look that it has. Dior has amazing quality so you will find that throughout their pre love pieces so much. And I actually like better that it has the zipper instead of the flap. The mini one has the flap and I find this to be more comfortable for me. Now for Louis Vuitton, I used to have more pieces but I've been downsizing my collection a little bit. And this is something that I definitely wanted to buy quite used. I already had the 45 in the Makassar which I loved and used a lot but my fiance, he really likes using it so it became basically his bag and even then I as much as I love the Makassar because it is waterproof and you didn't really have to worry if it was raining or anything aesthetically pleasing wise I always like better the regular kipal with the bachetta especially the worn bachetta like it's been a transition for me where I was super super scared of it and I tried to avoid bags that had bachetta to the point where I actually love and appreciate worn looking bachetta so for this piece because it's a travel piece because I definitely didn't want to splurge on a new one I don't want to worry about the rain I don't want to worry where I put it on I just really want to enjoy the bag to its fullest I got this one from whatnot by bidding on it I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos where I talk about whatnot, but it's an app where you can sell, buy, 
bid for authentic luxury items and other stuff they have from clothes books sneakers but they also have handbags i have the clips of me bidding it was a lot of fun so basically what you do is you join the live stream and there's a shop section where you can see where they have in stock and you can either buy the pieces directly like if it was a shopping website or you can wait to see if they're gonna put it on auction and you can bid on the back and get amazing deals i paid like 700 for this one in my opinion i saved a lot of money compared to the retail price and i'm gonna use this bag a lot i will have another live stream in a couple of days we're gonna be selling bags i've been trying to gather all of the requests that i've been getting because after every live i get a few messages requesting either lady dogs key balls speedies there's also going to be a giveaway but i'm gonna put the date and time of my next live streams for the next couple of months this is going to be my last live stream so i hope to see you guys there and to chat i'm gonna try to bring wine this time because it's usually like two hours and with wine it makes it easier for me to be a little bit more chatty so i got this one from bax chase she's also a seller on whatnot if you follow me i would highly recommend you to follow her so yeah basically now polo gets to keep the makasar and this is mine and i know that this one is older but actually really like it and i added my rodeo to the back the burgundy one and i plan to start using this one right away because it's a 50 it has more space than the 45 which i appreciate because my knees bb and my toiletries tend to take a lot of space in it and this one is still good to take on the plane with you you don't really have to check it in now a good example of a bag that was used but still was above retail i am not sure is this one so this is my pearl mini and I got this one from Red Lux. It is with light gold hardware. The pearls are basically intact. There was a few scratches on the bag and this is the back, the side and the bottom of the bag. This bag was on my wish list since the day that it was released. Of course, there's been so many price increases since the day that this was launched and I was not able to get my hands on it. It was such a sought after piece because Chanel doesn't make pearl bags that often. And when they made another one, I actually went to see it at the store because because this one would haunt me on my sleep because I regretted not getting it so, so much. I love pearls and this is like the type of bag that in my opinion is very special. Yes, I got it for over retail than it was when it was released, but compared to the new one that I saw that was like 16,000 or more and it had like, I'm gonna show you a picture if I find it. So this is the one that I saw at the boutique like a few months ago. That was 16K and this one was definitely below that and it has less pearls. This one was used, came with a few scratches especially on the hardware and because the bag is a little bit heavy it had a little bit of loss of structure so to fix that i got an organizer for it and that has helped a lot this one was planned but not really i actually had made my piece with not ever getting it a while ago because you would almost never see it available and if you saw it it was crazy price point so i always just brushed it off and said like oh it's the one that got away but when i saw that riddle looks had it i love riddle looks they always have very hard to find pieces just like this they have amazing vintage pieces they have chanel they have hermes and they have really good deals especially with hermes lately but this one in my opinion was a very very good deal for the price that they had it they're like the perfect wedding bag in my opinion so above retail from like four years ago but probably below retail if it was launched today i think this one was my first pre-love bag but this is my chanel jumbo and this one is in caviar with silver hardware and i looked for this up and down because i wanted a very shiny caviar so this was my first pre-love purchase and I was actually really nervous. I think this was 2018 or 2017. There are these Facebook groups where you can buy, sell and chat. They're literally called like that. Chanel Ritzy buy and sell chat. I found this person, um, her name is Julia, Julia Rose Boston and she had this available and I got it from her. I love this bag so much. I don't use it a lot, especially during summer and spring, but fall and winter it is a bag that fits a lot and it's very comfortable on your shoulder. I don't find it that heavy. This one is a piece I want to save for years and years first of all because I got it for like 5,000 something and now it retails for like 11,000 so this is one of the bags that I owned for the longest time in my entire collection and it's staying for sure. I decided to go pre-loved instead of new. I was very much like a, a freak and a fan. The year of this bag had a very shiny and beautiful caviar and the one that was that moment in the store was a little bit like dull and it looked a little bit more plasticky and this one I don't know if you can tell with the camera it's very lush and shiny and puffy I'm already not a fan of caviar so I knew that I did want the jumbo 
in the caviar but I wanted to be very specific with the type of caviar and I also was able to save a couple hundred because the medium and the small do retain its resale value very well but the jumbo not really so if you want to get a classic flop and you like bigger bags the jumbo is a great way to go on the pre-love market because it goes below retail most of the time unless of course it's a super crazy color there's also Hermes groups, Dior, Celine every brand that you can think of Facebook has the groups they do have rules and they do recommend you some things here and there to keep yourself protected so as always shop safely but they definitely have really good deals and you can also sell your own bags on the Facebook groups this is my vintage classic flap and this one I got it from season to consign and it's my birth year so this bag is from 1996 it's in lambskin with the gold plating actually Chanel does not do gold plating anymore I did save a lot of money by going vintage with this one and it does have the quilt deflated it has the back pocket and it came with its dust bag and everything even the box this is how it looks on the inside I got this one because I really wanted to get a bag from my birth year instead of going for new you would go for something vintage save a lot of money and have something that was literally made the year that you were born also Chanel bags their quality used to be way better back then than now and again they have gold plating which is honestly insane to me that they keep raising their prices and the quality and the materials do not not transfer into those price increases in any way on the contrary they tend to go down so I know many people do not love the look of vintage Chanel I think that's personal preference I also prefer lambskin over caviar if you right now want a classic flap going for vintage is probably the best way to go and where you're gonna save the most money and you're gonna get probably the best quality you just need to find a bag that the condition is good for you now going into Hermes this is my Kelly 28 in box leather I got this one for my birthday this is 1995 so just one year difference and it's in black box leather with gold hardware and you can see how shiny it is so I have a tendency to like delicate leather so I love swift I love box leather I love lambskin anything that is easy to scratch I'm all into it and I know most people would recommend you to go for Epsom or for tougher leathers but thinking about it in a rational way this bag is like almost 28 years old in my opinion it looks amazing you can see the shininess of the leather I love this bag I got this one from Le Prix Le Prix used to sell to customers my remover is actually from them too because when it comes to travel pieces I rather buy them pre loved and already quite beaten up for a markdown than go brand new and also I was able to find something that was not on the market anymore which was the Fendi collab with Remova but right now Le Prix is not B2C which is business to customer and they are doing B2B only so they have thousands of pre-love bags because they connect with vintage boutiques around the world and they sell to other resellers so you cannot buy from them directly anymore thankfully by the time that I got this one you could and this one was a very very good price an amazing condition and box leather for me is literally my favorite from Hermes since it's a little bit harder to find now on bags you can also find Swift maybe from time to time but going vintage is the best way to go or going pre-loved when you want to get this type of leathers from Hermes which is one of the reasons why I would recommend you to really really consider going this route if you want a Birkin or a Kelly and you don't want to go through the hoops of buying it new from store or buying something brand new from the resale market the quality is really 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 good the condition of the bag is great and you can always send it to the spa at Hermes so the option is there I was a bit hesitant to get the size 28 it is a shoulder bag that you sometimes do crossbody and I thought that it was gonna be really big but as you will see I ended up also going for the Birkin 30 and the 35 so that hesitation for bigger bags basically faded away this next one is also from season to consign this one was such a unique find and this is in blue celeste Epsom leather palladium hardware and on the inside it has a different color which makes it such a unique bag I got this one from my birthday last year and it is beautiful this is the condition of the bag it's in Epsom but even if it's in Epsom it's in the torn style so this bag is very very unique I love it so so much and I'm so happy that I went with it I dress very very neutral and I love adding bags as pop of color honestly finding something like this from a store would be 
probably impossible if I were to try. Also, the price was very reasonable. This made me fall in love with bigger Hermes bags, probably, and hence why I ended up going also for the 35. Again, this one was from Season to Consign. This is almost the year mark from the time that I got it, and I used this so, so much. And again, this was a collection that was only available for a very limited amount of time, and the fact that the inside is another shade of blue makes it so unique and beautiful. And now this is my most recent addition. This is a Birkin 35 in Etain Palladium Hardware in Togo. I got this one, again, from Where Deluxe. Big, big shout out to them. I love this bag. I'm gonna make a review between the 30 and the 35 and also the 25 soon, <laughs> probably next week. This one was impossible to find at the store and I was okay getting something that was a little bit used. Like, my Birkin 30 has some relaxation to the leather right here, as you can see it. And this bag was indeed pre-loved, but in amazing condition. It still came with the stickers. The bag is supposed to be like five years old, but the past owner used it with such care that it was almost like brand new. It came with the stickers. It has some corner wear, which I was completely fine with that. I was actually looking for something a little bit more used, but when I saw it at Red Looks 2, I was like, it's exactly the color that I wanted. I didn't have to compromise anything. And that is something that is very, very hard to get when you want something from the store. And when it comes to Birkin 35s, because of their size, they're actually not that popular and you can get them for a decent price point. They don't have such a markup like the 30 or the 25. So if you were interested in getting the 35, would actually consider getting it on the pre loved market for sure. Now, when it comes to tips to buying pre loved you can either go for the recommendations that I just gave you, which are the companies that I've shopped and worked with for a really really long time you definitely need to do a lot of background research before you buy luxury items on the pre loved market because of how good the replicas have become and how hard it is to tell if you're not an authenticating expert which i'm definitely not if you find a page or a reseller that you really really like the piece and you're thinking about buying it my first recommendation it is to go look for reviews either on youtube instagram or other social media platforms from people who actually bought from them check if they accept paypal always pay with credit card because credit card gives you a little bit more safety as a consumer rather than debit cards. Always, always, always require authenticity certificates. And there's many, many companies out there that do them. The most for are, when it comes to Hermes, ask for Baba Baby. Baba Baby is really, really good when it comes to Hermes to know if the bag is authentic or not. For Chanel, Sico is really good. Anthropy is also a very good option. Most companies do work with Anthropy. I know that it has its issues, but the fact that Anthropy exists in my opinion is amazing and there's plenty more different companies that dedicate themselves to authenticate luxury items as for multiple pictures and videos of the bag if they have good customer service they're gonna have the patience to do so you're spending a lot of money and you're not getting like the boutique experience which for me has never been like that appealing or a deal breaker if you're gonna buy a bag especially if it's a very high price point ask to see the corners ask to see every detail that you want so you know exactly what you're gonna receive and also compare prices with other platforms there's really really big platforms that have like higher markups rather than the small resellers is that if they authenticate and they have good practices, you will probably get a better price point there. Also, one of the reasons why I love shopping pre-loved is because in most cases, you're gonna be able to find exactly what you want and actually save money on it. As I said, there's brands like Celine, Dior, YSL, Fendi. Most brands don't really retain its resale value. So if you love something, you can save a little bit weight and then you can get it. You can find sold out bags, very hard to find pieces, collector pieces. You can buy vintage, which I love vintage pieces. If you have something in your closet that you don't use anymore you can always sell it and get something new which is something that i've done i implement as much as i can the one bag in one bag out which does mean selling your bags too and i really like selling with redelux and bam luxury store too and if you want to do it by yourself you can also do it on the facebook groups but doing it via other resellers it's a little bit easier because you don't have to go through the hassle of people asking a lot of questions and giving the proper customer service that you need to give so i think this was the video i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions about any of the bags where to buy or anything leave it in the comments and i'll make sure to get to it thank you so much for watching if you're not to my channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos and if you're not done watching i'll leave you two videos right here in case you want to check them out thank you and see you on the next one bye